It's actually very exciting. Uh, so welcome back uh, to uh, our final installment for the uh, prep for RockCon uh, 2023, uh, which, by the way, I haven't mentioned before, I think, uh, although you may have seen it on the website. Uh, it's their 50th anniversary uh, of running the RockCon game convention. Um, just a few points, notes, uh, commentary about the RockCon. Um, way back. So, here, wait, let's go to the history. First of all, I moved to Illinois uh, in 1988, having spent some time in Phoenix and having originated from Mississauga, Ontario. Um, and when I got here, uh, one of the first things I did was look up gaming uh, groups and came upon eventually, the RockCon uh, convention, which was at the time at a high school. Now it's at a, uh, an events center uh, in, in Rockford, and it's been there for several years, and I'm hoping it kind of stays there. Uh, but I'm, I'm equally, I'm hoping the food Im improves. So there's that. Um, the, so uh, the, the, it's exciting to be able to uh, finally... Um, have all of uh, the work that's been done on uh, uh, the hex command system be demonstrated yet again, uh, and hopefully, if the data looks correct, that I, I actually have uh, more players than I expected. Now that is a good thing, uh, but on the other hand, there is a nuance of these conventions that I wish there was some way to mitigate, and I don't know. Well, there is, but how practical, I don't know. The problem is that um, e regardless how complex a game is to explain to the players, it's really hard to do that in a short period of time when there's a lot of noise. Now, how do you, what's one way of mitigating noise? Run the game as early as possible so there's not that many people there and there's not that much noise. But still, there's going to be noise and it's going to be hard for people to hear so they have to congregate close together and... Um, in this COVID era, uh, that's a concern. But uh, and uh, there's uh, you know wear and tear on the presenter themselves. Me, uh, in 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 all cases, it has been me. And um, even after I moved here, uh, I was running games uh, all the time and only had myself and sometimes my brother before he uh, graduated and and moved on um, running the games. He was uh, you know we were just the two of us. So. That's where we're at now, uh, 2023, uh, and it's been since 1988 uh, that I've been running games uh, almost, uh, there haven't been that many times that I've canceled RockCon, probably five in all these years, uh, and a lot of the times it's uh, just varied reasons. Uh, an example uh, would be, for instance, uh, we uh, finally, after all this time, are going to go see the uh, play uh, Hamilton. But it, not related to the RockCon event, but it related to wars in Woodstock, which is, by the way, down the street from me in Illinois. Well, I can't go because we have the uh, the uh, we finally got tickets for Hamilton in Chicago, and we're going to go downtown and see that play. Everybody says we're you know long overdue for seeing, it, especially someone like me. Uh, so we're going, and uh, so we're not. I'm not going to be able to go to the Woodstock Wars. Uh, but I hope anybody who's in proximity of Woodstock certainly go to the Woodstock Wars. At, it's in the upper floor of a chocolate coffee company in Woodstock. So there's all those benefits. Um, and, of course, uh, as HMGS uh, event, it's, uh, it's fantastic, and the people are fantastic. So you're, if you go and you don't know anything about it, you're bound to have a fascinating time. So... Uh, we so we're not going, but um, having just got back from uh, Greece, we are uh, the the schedule for uh, RockCon was is maintained, and um, aside from a few sniffles because of the dusty uh, air in Greece, uh, I'm I'm doing okay and ready ready to go. So that's why it's exciting because it finally gets to a point where and it's going to be a big table too. Uh, it's like eight by five typical convention uh, table, not something smaller. 
And uh, as you know, uh, we've tailored all of our games to be a smaller footprint. Well, at a convention, we're supersizing, and we're going to make it huge. Uh, and at some point, I hope to get back into both World War II uh, and the rest of the Hex Command series, Hex Command Gunpowder and Ancients. Ancients is the easiest. Hex Command Gunpowder, you can do Civil War, or you can do Napoleonics or American Rev, because that's what we have in our, in our collections. Uh, but with the waning Civil War attention, uh, it looks like it's going to be more Napoleonics and more American Rev. I personally, I like American Rev, but I've built up a huge uh, Napoleonic uh, French and Austrian, because uh, that's my focus, um, armies. And again, all this is in 172 scale, so they're good. Big, they're relatively big figures, not 15 millimeter, not 20, uh, 172. Uh, so, and and there's there's all that coming in the future. So uh, that's what this video is about, basically to announce that I'm hoping, uh, uh, based on the scheduling uh, of the events and so on, uh, that we can uh, have these as much as possible. I do not believe I will be going to Little Wars here in Illinois, but I do not believe again it'll be possible for me to go to Gen Con and or, uh, uh, well, we are going to Adepticon, actually, uh, in Illinois, uh, in Schaumburg. So we will be there. And I'm hoping to be there maybe two days uh, running uh, two, or running uh, larger games. We'll see. The smaller games are just not conducive to a, you know, nice venue. So the bigger, in this case, uh, the better in, in so far as the grandeur of what can be presented. What I'm going to run there, I don't know. It might be Hex Command Nova again, uh, just so we exhaust all the possibilities of the game system and ensure that it actually works. And that from that point on, uh, if we are convinced that this is actually a viable, uh, which I think it is, of course, uh, then we'll start farming out the production of mechs and, uh, de our, and design our own stuff so we can get away from using the Battletech and CAV miniatures, which we are forced to do because there is nothing else on the market for us to have this game. To present this game in our system, uh, we have to use Battletech miniatures and CAV miniatures. But uh, if we can farm out the production of our own, um, we'll definitely do that. So there it is. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. I don't think I'll be posting anything before uh, the con, so uh, I'll come back and do a post-mortem on the, uh, the uh, success or failure or good points and bad points, pros and cons of the event, and, uh, and that'll be after this weekend. So, so, so like Sunday, the, the 6th, uh, or 5th, and or next week after that, November, uh, November 5th, 6th, or so, so on. So a couple of days after once we recover from the effort. So there it is. Thanks.